ask and you shall receive. I wish I had something like this 10 years ago when I was just getting started in college. I'm a creative operations manager for a seven figure company here in NYC and I have deployed SaaS systems for all different types of teams and workflows. In this video, I'm gonna give you a complete breakdown of my personal Notion setup. All right guys, here we are inside my Notion second brain system. Right off the bat on the top of my dashboard, I have a weekly habit tracker. This habit tracker is really helpful because as I check off everything, I can see the, the progress bar move in that middle column. I have it automated so that a new entry is created every single week and it's filtered to only show me the entry for the current week that I am on. So that way I don't have to think about it. I don't have to create new entries every single week. And it is a fully automated um, habit tracker that all I have to do is actually fill, fulfill my end of the bargain with my habits and keep track of them. Underneath that is a really simple board view database for goals that I have due this month. Underneath that is the priorities database that I have that I showed on my last video. What this is, is a database that is grouped by a category property that I created. And I just have it set so that it is filtered only for projects that are either not started or in progress. And it is sorted to show the highest priority and the lowest amount of effort at the top of each category. And I just have it organized into a couple different areas that I like to focus my attention on. The whole reason I created this was because I, I give myself a lot of projects and I don't ever, I feel like I don't make enough progress on them, honestly. So I, I, I made this to help with that and to help me keep track and move all of my projects along in a really positive direction that makes it feel like I'm actually making progress. Over on the left hand side is my main navigation. What this is, is call out boxes within call out boxes. Those are just some blocks within Notion. So I just set those up and highlighted them and colored them so that they all look nice in these different categories. At the top, I have my habits, which include my daily journal, my workout tracker, and my money manager. What these are is a prompt database with some information on prompts, a workout database with my daily physical therapy routine here. I'll show you that here. I just keep track of, I just keep workouts in here essentially. Underneath that in the money manager is a weekly expense tracker and a subscription tracker database. What's cool about this is the formula over here that changes the amount based on whether I choose monthly or yearly billing. I will show you the formula for that real quick. So if you wanna pause, you can go ahead and copy this formula for yourself. Moving on from there, for my habits is my life section. I've got ideas, which is essentially just a notes page that I have a widget for on my phone. I have the more advanced version of that goals database. I have a love database, which is um, just a lot of information on my relationship and a trip planner, which is a template that I basically just got from the main Notion store. So in ideas, it's literally just notes. Um, I have a widget on my phone so that I can just quickly type in notes in here. And that way, if I wanna incorporate it into a project or something else that I wanna work on later, I can just move it as a block there. It's a lot more actionable, a lot more useful than the standard notes app on my phone. The best part is this content ideas database. So if I ever have an idea for something to make, I'll drop it in here and that will play into my CPE, my content production engine. You'll see later in a little bit. Moving on from my ideas is my goals database. This is literally just a bigger version of that goals database with more of my long-term and near-term goals here. Uh, with a couple of different fields that I applied to them. Nothing too fancy. Underneath that is my love database. This is essentially just all of the information for my relationship, uh, for my girlfriend in here. Anytime we're in a casual conversation, if we have like gift ideas, date ideas, uh, anything she mentions that's like her favorite thing, I'll write it down in my notes and then I will move it over into one of these databases here. It helps a lot because I tend to forget everything. <laughs> okay, so here I have the trip planner and this is just a template that I got from the main Notion template store. I'm pretty sure it was free. And in it is just like a couple databases with this really helpful template for containing like just all of your trip information, a packing list, hotels, contact info, 
budget planner and just like a trip schedule. Makes it easy if you're going international, it helps you keep track of like visa information or like anything like that. So you could share it out with friends, family, whoever you want. Super helpful, super, super happy with this template as a whole. Underneath the life section, I've got my project management section, which is like a bulk of my content here in Notion. I've got my deep work dashboard, my CRM system, my content production engine, an in progress learning page dashboard. And so when we jump into the deep, deep work dashboard, ugh, can't talk deep work dashboard. I have a video showing how I built this out, but essentially when I want to sit down and get some deep work done, I will turn on this timer here. I'll turn on like a playlist from Spotify. I will set up all of my tasks in this to do column that I need to sit down and get done in this two hour period. And I just simply go through like a checklist. And as I do them, I mark them as done. And then when I'm done with my deep work session, I delete everything that I finished or didn't do. And I just start over fresh each time. Underneath the deep work dashboard, we got that CRM system. This is like just a really basic contact sheet at this point. I am starting my business, so I'm gonna need this as like, I might need to build this out more in the future, but for now it is a really basic um, just contact sheet database so I can keep track of like who I'm trying to contact, when was the last time I hit them up, um, all the info about their business and so on and so forth like that. Really just a big contact sheet again. Moving on from there, I've got my content production engine. This is like the meat of like my YouTube channel and all my content and really the whole reason I got interested in using Notion in the first place. So we can see I have a bunch of different pages here. This is a link back to that content ideas page in my notes. I have a process doc just cause like I was anxious about making content. So I actually just like time myself on what it takes to, to do everything. I have a target audience uh, worksheet page. I have a niche research page. I have a uh, building 730 days of reusable content database template that I'm gonna try out and I have a potential sponsors for the YouTube channel database. These three, the target audience, the niche research, the potential sponsors, these are all templates from Kelsey Rodriguez. She has a really cool channel where she talks about art and business content. The 730 days of reusable content. This is from uh, Justin Welsh. He's that guy who's really popular on LinkedIn and sells a lot of courses on how to make content for LinkedIn specifically. So I'll quickly jump through some of these pages. You can see like literally it's just a worksheet for building out a target audience, uh, researching different creators in your niche. Um, this template is just for posting content, giving it a rating, and then it uses a formula to tell you from the publishing date when like the next time you can essentially reuse the content is. Um, every six months roughly is like how often a lot of people repurpose their content. <laughs> Underneath that is that potential sponsors database, literally, literally just a database of like anytime you see a sponsor in a YouTube video that like is in a similar niche or subject matter as you just write it down here as a potential sponsor. Going back into the CPE underneath all of that is my gear inventory list, which is just a database of the gear I have, how much I got it for, where I got it from, etc. Underneath that is a calendar that uh, database that was in the content ideas page. This is a linked view of that database that just shows me like my content when I published it on what day. So I can just get like a more holistic picture of everything that I'm working on and have put out. Moving on from there into the video section. This again is a linked view of the database in that content ideas page. You can see a link back to it right here. And literally this is just where I plan out all of my YouTube videos, short form content and podcast episodes. I have another page for hooks and information here that I've been setting up and gathering because I am not great at writing hooks still. I have another page for thumbnail inspiration, which again, this is a template that I got from Kelsey Rodriguez. Again, definitely check her out. She's super awesome. I love her content and her notion template pack was like really the thing that got me started with notion in the first place. So like huge, huge shout out to her and podcast guests. This is literally just a contact list of all my podcast guests. So I won't go into there because I am not trying to dox anyone <laughs> underneath that. I just have some helpful drop downs with links for finding like different video editors, like 
uh, video repurposing tools, different templates, packs, things like that. And then it's gonna be a rinse and repeat for the images and text. It's just, these are the different bundles of content that I have with a linked view of the database and then some information for like posting on the different platforms or getting started on the different platforms. That's all I really do here. It's just, I gather resources and I throw it into a page where I think I'm gonna need it for later. Moving on from the CPE, I have this learning page, which is gonna be a dashboard for anything that I'm trying to teach myself essentially in the future. What I have in here is just links for things that I wanna learn. So TBD, this is still a work in progress. Underneath all of that, I have my resources section. This is where I have my business info. I have my large media database and all of the Notion templates that I have ever downloaded. So from here, I go into my business info section, literally, um, everything that I have about my business is in here. Like, and everything that I'm learning about business goes in here as well. So just, this is again, just brain dump. This is a place for everything that is like strictly for the business and how I need to grow and develop it and what I need to address with it. Over here are like the projects that actually like relate to the business that I need to work on. And you guys kind of get where I'm going with all this and how I've been using this. Underneath that is my media database, which is essentially just a massive database within Notion where I send any interesting article, website, tool, resource, book, you name it. If I've read it, I've, it's in here. It's full of podcasts and all kinds of other stuff. Um, I'm trying to organize, categorize, rate, and write my personal notes about all of these things in here. And hopefully one day I could even turn this into a resource that I can share or, you know, maybe sell <laughs> uh, via the YouTube channel. So this is still a big work in progress, but I'm hoping to make some, make some moves on it over the course of this summer because it is just a massive database that is full of resources and information that I think a lot of people could benefit from. And then underneath there, is just my templates database. It's full of templates that I've made and templates that I've downloaded from different creators and everything like that. So, and that's the, that's the beauty of Notion is that everything can just be like, you can download a starting point and then really run with it and make it your own, which is why I love it and which is why I use it for everything for my personal life and work. One thing that I will add guys is it did take me months to get to this point. Like. I started learning about Notion back in August and September of last year. So it's been a lot of trial and error up to this point and just trying to figure out things that work best for me, which is why a lot of this is just simple. Like for me, simplicity works and that's what I have been aiming for with my Notion setup for like basically since I started. I went way too complicated, way too much at first and then I had to dial it back a lot and just just a quick note that like this does take time to figure out for yourself. So don't be mad and don't be hard on yourself if you don't get it right on the first try. All right, there you have it guys. That is my entire setup from start to finish. Keep in mind that with any system, there is no one size fits all solution. Everything takes a little bit of trial and error before you're able to figure out what works exactly for you. And you can see just from this tour that I'm still, I still have a lot to learn. I'm still figuring out like what works best for me within Notion and I'm still trying to get better at it each and every day. But if you have any tips, suggestions, tricks, anything I should check out or try out, then please let me know. Or if you have a sick Notion setup of your own that you want me to check out, I would love to see them. If you can mention those in the comments below, that would all be awesome. And while you're down there guys, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It's the best way to let me know that what I'm doing is working and then you wanna see more content like this. So with that being said, thank you. I appreciate you all and I will see you in the next video. Peace.